Hi guys, in this lecture, I'm going to teach you about the dot op analysis. Let's take a diode circuit for doing the dot op analysis. But first, I will just get you started with LD spice. So here that you see are the tools as I told you in the previous lecture that we are going to use. Okay, so let's go to file and say new schematic. Click on it. Now what you see here is a new schematic present. Okay, so let me just tell you the meaning of these symbols. This is the save symbol. This is the run symbol or simulate. This is for magnifying. Okay, this is for adjusting the window panes. Now when we simulate it, you, you have to see the waveforms, right? So you will have multiple windows open. So if you want to adjust them, you can use these. This is the cut option. We don't have anything like delete here. So we just cut things up. This option is for copying. Okay. This is a wire. Whatever connections we need to make, we'll have to use this for connections. The pencil one. This that you see a triangle is the ground. Resistor, capacitor and so on. What you see here, the move symbol is for moving the objects. And the drag symbol is for dragging. I'll show you why do we need these objects. You might be thinking we can just pick and place or something like that. But I'll just tell you. Now, the AND gate symbol that you see here is the components. Like, if you want any component. Now, a resistor, capacitor, inductor and a diode is present here. But you, if you th need anything apart from this, these components, that is a BJT or a JFET, or something else then you will have to select from this so let's first click on the component and what do we need for a circuit of diode we will first need a voltage source so I'll just type in voltage that's it I got the voltage source I'll say ok and now you can see my cursor has turned into the voltage source itself right so what will I do? I will just click in one place and move my cursor again. Now you will see the voltage source have been placed and still my cursor hasn't changed back to the voltage, changed back to normal as in. So what will I do? I will right click. Right clicking will change my cursor to normal again. Okay. What else do we need? A resistor. So I will just click on the resistor and I need to put it here. So, I'll just put the resistor. Okay, and then again, right click. What else? A diode. Yes, but I want the diode to be in the horizontal position. This is a vertical position. So, if you see here, you have the options to rotate and mirror. Mirror will just flip it. Now, a word like C-A-R, car. If you mirror it, it becomes R-A-C. So, you don't need to flip for these objects. You might need to flip for some other objects, which I'll tell you in the future. Right now, we just need to rotate it. So, we rotate. No, we don't want the diode like this. We want the diode in this position. Click and then right click. Now, let's place the ground too. So, I'll use two grounds. One here and one here. Instead of dragging wires all through, I'm using two grounds. Now let's click on the wire and how do we connect them? Now you can see the cursor has changed again. So you click on one node and click on the other one. That's it. And the connection has been made. So if you see the small square that is here has been disappeared. So again click and click. See now I have I wanted to click here but the wire connection has not been made that is because the diode was a bit up so I have to change the direction of my wire correct so what will I do I will have to click again yes this makes the connection this is if I want to draw a wire randomly but the wire is not connected anywhere and I want to delete this so what do I do I will right click so I am out of the wire thing. Now the wire which is drawn is it. So we will just first complete the wire drawings. Click and click. Yes, wire is done. So now I want to delete this, right? So I will have to cut it. So I just click on cut. 
and use the scissor to cut that's it the wire is gone now the d1 v1 r1 that you see are the names of the component and what you see down here r d v are supposed to be the values of the component now if you hover your mouse over the resistor or any other component you'll see a hand symbol coming there right now just right click on that symbol see you will be able to see the properties that is resistance tolerance and everything and in the resistance you can see r written but what do we want the value of the resistor to be that is the resistance to be that is 1k so i'll just write 1k if you want to go for some specific resistor you can select resistor from here but right now it's fine i just want 1k so i just write 1 similarly for diode i can just right click and i'll say pick a new diode and yeah i think this is fine so i'll say okay so what will i do with voltage source let's see now that depends on what are we going to do what analysis are we going to perform we are going to perform the dot op analysis now what does that mean dot op analysis would be your circuit is ready and a steady voltage is applied or maybe an oscillating voltage but the values will differ let's now assume a steady voltage is applied so what is the voltage and the currents that is what we find after doing an op analysis okay so we know the diode does not conduct up to 0.7 or 0.3 depending on if it is germanium or silicon diode but now what we'll do we'll just take two three values and i'll leave the plotting of graph up to you i'll just show you all how can you use the dot op analysis to take the values so let's put the voltage source value see now i clicked on v so this is a new type of dialog which has come and it says enter new value for v1 that is the value of the voltage okay if i just right click here it it says what dc value do i want to apply so i'll just let's apply 5 volts minus y sorry minus y would mean that it is in reverse bias and it does not conduct correct now let's do the analysis part so what do we say we'll click on this man running and say run which is simulate which analysis do we want to perform dot op so in the dot op analysis the syntax is only dot op that's it nothing else and i say okay now you see here vn00 the node voltage is given and the currents through the diodes are given now what you, we don't know is which is node 1 and which is node 2 so what we can do just take our cursor over it can you see here down see when i take my cursor at the resistor it says this is node 1 and the operating point voltage is given here you can say it is node 2 if you want you can label label the nodes so what you do this is label net click on it and just write node 1 for our understanding and say ok and i click so my node 1 is present now i have to right click so that the node 1 selection goes ok then i again take label net and i say vdd this is my vdd correct now if i run it again see it says vdd is minus 5 volt node voltage that is node 1 voltage is minus 2.25.6 whatever e raised to minus the the type it is mentioned is minus 2.52 e stands for 10 raised to so e is 10 raised to minus 6 that is the voltage i1 current so that is minus 2 10 raised to minus 9 so with this negative and very small it is though it is negative it is of the order of 10 raised to minus 9 so we can safely assume that the current through diode 1 is 0 ok now let's do one thing just change the voltage value to say 5 volts 
yeah and then we'll perform the operating point again analysis again say run see now you can see the voltage is 5 volt node 1 the voltage at the node is 4.34 that is because our diode is not an ideal one and you, you we have some potential drop across it right and then you can see current there is some current 0, 0.0 so I can say it is 4.3 milliampers yes that is the current flowing so let's just say this is 0 0.9 volts it should start conducting by this time right let's see yes the current rose up to millivolts some um, milliampers let's just say it is 0.5 it should still be zero let's see yes the current is in 10 raised to minus 5 range so we can assume it is zero right so what I want you all to do is change the value just click on run and you will be able to see the change so take like 5 to 6 values and plot it and you will get to see a proper graph this was the dot op analysis now in the next lecture I'll tell you about the dot DC analysis you are free to try the same experiment that is the diode with the dot DC analysis but first let's do the dot DC analysis with a BJT and then you can try it on your diode